Good morning, guys, from the Satyo Tagaita in Baliri. I'm here with uh, maybe a bunch of people, and then they are having a discussion about what to eat for lunch. And then uh, this place is pretty much close to the Hermit Cove in the Aluginsan. And then uh, this place is supposed to be the camping site, but it's just a hill. Hill that overlook the great view. So we're gonna have a camping here with uh, these guys. <laughs> yeah, so let's see what happens. The camping site is located in the city of Tagaitai on the edge of Bariri. On that day, we went there by car and the park in the city of Tagaitai. From there, we start to walk, passing by a small chapel, getting through a village, hiking down a hill, and here we are. We arrived there before noon and some of my friends went out for hunting lunch. While waiting for it, I start to explore the neighborhood. So while waiting for the lunch, I'm gonna explore this area a little bit. There was a couple of houses along the way and I was just following the path hoping to see an amazing view. However, okay I thought of I would be able to see the good view but I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere, so let's go back. Although I wasn't able to see what I had hoped for, I found a hammock hung up on a tree. Hmm, that is enticing. After lining it for a while, I went back to the campsite. When I arrived, Lunch was being prepared. <coughs> then, um, soy sauce. <coughs> then, two pieces um lemon, small lemon. And my friends successfully harvested the crops. Hmm, yum, 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 yum. Also, it was one of my friends' birthday. Amen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. After lunch, we lay down, talk, and got the job done. After having a rest, we headed to the mountain next to the campsite to see the sunset. Okay, so now we are going to the hill on the other side, and then local guys taking us to the place where we can supposed to see the beautiful view. Let's see what kind of view we can get. We went down and passed by the wheel and started to walk up the mountain. We took a break sometime and reached the other side of the campsite. Okay, so now I came on the other side and then from here we can see the hill where we camp. And then, so it's gonna be a little bit worse still, but Hopefully, we I can see the view from here. After some minutes of walk, we reach the viewpoint. What? The view from the mountain was so nice, and I was able to see the beautiful coastline of Bariri. Although it was before the sunset, I enjoyed the view so much. Now it's picture time. <laughs> Everybody taking the Instagram right now. <laughs> Leaving the mountain behind, we went back to the campsite for dinner. On the way, we dropped by the wheel in the valley and took the cold shower to wash off all the sweat we had had. <laughs> <laughs> Mahoyong acid eh. Manalo! Uy, bahoyong ko at sorry. Manalo ni Prashar. 
When we arrived at the campsite, sun was getting behind the clouds and we started to cook our dinner. We built a fire, grilled meat and more meat, and scorched banana leaves. And we did this thing for sure cause it's camping. We cut the fruits and set them up on banana leaves. So, you know what's coming, right? Ta-da! Good yeah! fight, Sityota Gaita Special Edition. After dinner, we drank, we talked, we laughed, and we enjoyed the night so much. Six hours later. Good morning, guys. It's 5 a.m. and it's uh, really windy outside here. Uh. <laughs> morning. So I think weather today is gonna be very good. I think it's wind still windy a little bit. It was a great morning to wake up early, so I flew my drone to capture the beauty. I was one of the first ones to wake up the morning. While shaking off my sleepiness with the cold breeze, the rest of my friends start to come out of their tent. The sun start to shine on us and we start to hold our tent. So everybody start putting down the tent and then I'm gonna I'm gonna put my tent down and we're gonna have a breakfast. We had breakfast in the shade because it was so sunny and we had rest and began walking to the place where he had parked the car. So we are going back to the parking lot right now. We're not sure where we're gonna go next but let's go with the flow. We walked through the village and dropped by a tinderham. I felt longer than when I had come but we made it to the parking lot. We took a rest there Oi. and had ice candy in the back. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> and then we headed to Busaga Fall in Pinamungahan. Where are we going to? We're going to Pinamungahan. Ah, Pinamungahan. Ah, um, it's, it's like a 20 minute drive from here. We, we are in Pinamungahan. Um, I haven't been there, but they told me it's Busakan, Busakan Falls. It's a waterfalls in Pinamungahan. Yeah. Okay. On the way, we stopped by in Pinamungahan to buy lunch and drove on the unpaved mountainous road. It was a rough ride. Okay, good. However, after 20 minutes, we made it to the drop off point. So, how long are we gonna work for? Maybe 10 minutes. 10 minutes? That's okay. Oh, I see. I see some motorcycle. That means somebody is already there. Yes. We passed by some houses, walked alongside the river, and finally reached Busaga Fort. 
the Labu Saga Water 4. And I, oh, it's really nice actually. Yeah, let's take a look. Fortunately, the mic didn't function at that point, but I went up for jumping. After lots of jumping, we had the lunch and headed back to Pinamungahan. How was the water hole? It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> My first trekking, not bad. To sum up, I was fortunate enough to camp in a beautiful place and spend a great time with amazing people. I want to thank everybody for welcoming me to be a part of the group. Thank you very much for that. Lastly, I have something to say. That's kind of an end of a trip. And then, well, see you in the next adventure.